Hey, how's it going? Today's drawing lesson is gonna be simple and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner and you've never drawn anything in your life, this is the perfect place to be. This is gonna be step by step and it's gonna be short. I try to keep these around the 10 minute mark. Hey, how's it going? Uh, today we're gonna go over how to draw an undead pirate. Uh, like I said, like the intro said, this is simple, easy, and for beginners. I'm gonna be using this, a regular piece of paper from the printer. Uh, and I'm gonna be using this Crayola brand marker. Uh, you can use anything you want, don't worry about it. Uh, I do recommend a marker of any kind, those are nice, uh, because it kind of looks better in my opinion. Uh, but that's pretty much it. It's gonna be step by step. So let's jump into this. Before I do though, if you like seeing, uh, you know, getting these free, easy drawing lessons, these step by step drawing lessons, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. Uh, I'm after 200,000 followers, uh, but it's like, uh, it'll basically help out and also give you notifications for when I post. I post usually every day, two times a day at the moment, uh, but that's it. So let's jump right into this. All right, I'm gonna straighten this out. So this is an undead pirate. So he's gonna have like a skull face and uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So let's do it. So right now I'm gonna draw a kind of a marshmallow shape right here. It's gonna be for one eye socket. Gonna go over here, draw another one, the same, kind of marshmallowy. Next thing I'm doing, I'm gonna draw the nasal cavity, which is in the middle right here, which is more or less a triangle. Kind of like I'm doing like a jack-o'-lantern or something. Right on. Gonna go over here, find the side of my face on one side. And I'm gonna curve a line in for the zygomatic arch, pulling in. Line over here, zygomatic arch here. Then I'm gonna pull down. And I'm gonna draw like these bumpy, right here, see these little bumpy U shapes for the teeth area. Then I'm gonna go back up and join the other side. Right on. Gonna curve a line up here for the brow, curve a line up here for the brow as well. Gonna draw now a cross here for a bandana. I try to keep that brow visible though. Let's draw a circle in the middle of these shapes and then fill in the outside of those little circles. Fill in that little triangle in the middle. <laughs> Line up right here for that bandana. Curve around here. Down. Line. Curve here. Teardrop shape off of that. Really, it's the handkerchief that's tied, right? So it's gonna be a little bit left over of that handkerchief when you tie something. Essentially that little, uh, like these two teardrop shapes and that one big, uh, one dot, which is the actual knot. Line here, side of the face. And let's draw, we can draw an earring on this, why not? Let's draw one earring, like a pirate earring, like a, looks like a, like a ring right there, with a ring inside of it. And I'm gonna st start right here. Maybe it uh, doesn't matter, anywhere around this area. By the way, if you draw this, it's cool. Like it doesn't, everything have to be, doesn't have to be exact, right? As long as it's close enough. So I'm gonna start from the cheekbone here and I'm gonna pull down, in. And from this area, I'm gonna draw, start with the bottom row of teeth, down, curve back here, right on. Draw a line for the teeth above and draw a line for the teeth below line over here line over here line over here kind of for the, the bandana that you know as it tightens up 
So let's do the hat. Okay, we're gonna start maybe from mid bandana, pull up. And then I'm gonna start over here in the back area. I'm gonna pull, maybe around the knot, pull up. <clears throat> curve, kind of curve downward. And then I'm gonna pull up because there's like a big bump in the middle of the hat. That's kind of the way this hat's designed. You know that pirate hat? And then I'm gonna slope down into that, on that side. I'm gonna have a little bump back here. That's where the hat is. And then what I'm gonna do here is, is draw that this line over again because there's gonna be a design here. Right there. And let's draw the crossbones here at the top. So I'm gonna draw right here, two lines. Almost like this heart shape at the end, heart shape at the end here. And then I'm gonna draw two lines coming out the other side and do that heart shape over here. Okay, let's go around the neck area, pull down. Line over here. And then I'm gonna do some of these U shapes right here because this is like a fuzzy shirt underneath. It's a fluffy shirt, one of those, I don't know, it's like a piratey shirt. I'm not sure what else to call it really because uh, it's like these layers or something. I'm gonna go over here from this side maybe, uh, from the jaw or the upper neck here. Pull down for the collar, in. I'm gonna pull out right here. And then I'm gonna pull down right here. Okay. And I'm gonna pull this line a little bit lower here because it's kind of like a jacket folding in on itself. Then I'm gonna go on this side. Out. And then I'm down, I'm just gonna pull straight down here for the other side. I'm gonna go over here and draw a kind of circle circular pattern on the uh, it's gonna be the top of the shoulder like this it's like looks like a coin on its side or something and I'm gonna pull down down and there's gonna be little tassels so I don't know like like see little boxes going downward that's kind of how I think about it I'm gonna go over here for the arm pull down go over here to the other side of the arm the arms always like a tube you know Curve line out for the bottom of the of the uh, the cuff, the you know where the hand is. Circle here for a button, and we're gonna draw the belt buckle over here. A lot of stuff on him, I guess. Straight line, curve, curve. If you're still with me, don't forget to hit the like. Um, I, likes do influence the whole channel, so absolutely hit that like button if you can. So there's like a square belt buckle here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a square, almost like that same marshmallow shape, that squared look, but it's like kind of roundish at the edges. I'm gonna draw a little square right here. So it's like a belt buckle if you ever do that. Um, and then a square over here. It's just made up of squares. See how like just simple shapes can make something more complex. I'm gonna pull in over here, inward, because it's the side. Pulling over here, inward, it's this hits the side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a line over here, down. All it is is really a box, but it's just the belt. You know, continue to do its thing. Right on. And we're gonna go over here to the side, pull up, because it's like the jacket has like, there's a jacket and then there's a belt and it kind of tightens it up and then there's like a flared out part, you know, the jacket that kind of goes uh, down. Uh, before that, I'm gonna draw like a, something in his hand. He's gonna have like a sword in his hand. So I'm gonna go down here, down here. Like there's the wrist. Mm. I'm gonna pull this shape, it's like a U shape because the swords have these like really crazy handles. 
I have to come back to that in a second because I gotta draw the actual sword. It's like the guard, right? It's the it's the guard. It guards your hand. That's what it is. But um, so I draw that S curve. But what I'm gonna do next is actually draw the blade of the sword. I'm gonna pull in, in here, and I'm gonna close that blade off. Curve down. I'm gonna draw the back of his hand here, and then the back of the sword area. So his hand's around there, and, and, and this guard is covering his hand. And you could draw his knuckles coming out of it because he's grabbing onto like this stick inside of it. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go over here, draw the other lower part of the uh, coat, and then I'm gonna pull in again. So those are the, that's the coat, essentially. Over here, the other shoulder, top of that other shoulder, right? Down here, it's kind of behind this sleeve because it's on the far side, but I'll try to indicate that. Down, down, line over here for the sleeve. Same box shape here. I want the button there to show. And then maybe his hand is like at ease over here. I don't know what it's doing. It's like behind there or somewhere. I don't know. It's, we're just gonna draw like a line and his hands over there doing, doing whatever. All right. Because right now we're gonna draw the pants. That's gonna be in the way. Line here for one pant leg. Out, in. Up, up, waist, and then over here is gonna be his other pant leg. We gotta, we gotta make sure it lines up with that waist because his waist is over here. And then his other pant leg over here. So let's draw a shoe on this side right here. One leg here. Sorry it's, if it's kind of complicated, you can always rewind and pause and all that. Um, I, I understand that it might be a little complicated, but there's a lot of, because there's a lot of pieces under this, but it's relatively easy. So now I'm gonna draw the top of the shoe. He, the shoe itself has a buckle on it, which is funny. So it's gonna be like a square over like the top of the shoe. And then another square inside of that. Back of the heel. And we're gonna go over here and draw the front of the, of the foot where all the, uh, you know, the front of the toes are and stuff. And on this other side, we're gonna draw a stick. That one's easy. Stick. And you can draw like lines in it for like wood shape. Let me see. You can draw like a button here as well on the on the coat. You can always add your own flair to it as well. So there's no wrong answer. Um, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was an undead pirate. Uh, if you really liked it, like I said, share the video. Sharing the video brings uh, like a lot of traffic back to the channel and also brings a lot of good energy back to the channel. It brings people to be like, hey, what's up? And I can talk to them in the comments, like, hey, how's it going, you know? And then we talk and remember, I reply to every single comment, so absolutely comment in the comment section. Uh, and don't forget, there's a lot of tools in the description to make you a better artist, okay? Talk to you later and I will see you next time. You can see the, uh, well, what you can do is stay here to see the sped up version of the coloring process, okay? That I do in colored pencil. So check it out and I'll see you tomorrow.